Let's open a project from the demo applications folder of our X2C installation. So we are in the underscore X2C version 6 demo applications folder and we open the Blinky demo. Once the project is open, we select it as main project and we start the MCC. Once MCC is opened, we navigate in the project resources to the X2C library. If we click on it, we see the configuration. So here we can open the model, we can reload the IO pins. We see a list of uh, available IO pins in the existing model. We can select uh, which interrupt is executing the model. In this example here, it's the timer one interrupt. And which UART is configured for the communication with the scope. So if we want to open the model, we just have to press open on the first point here in the X2C library. This will open Scilab, Xcos and the model. The X2C code project folder will be opened together with the model. So here we see our Blinky model. The Blinky model uses a sign generator, an adaptive filter for blinking an LED. We have a, a switch connected to two LED outputs and we use another switch uh, to switch between two different blinking frequencies for another LED. And the, all the simulation results go onto a scope. So here we have the inputs in green, A and POT, S1, S2, A and TOUCH. These are the connecting points to the framework project and in this project uh, it's also the peripheral drivers. On the outputs, on the red ones, LED1, LED2, LED3, these are the connecting points to the framework project and the peripheral drivers for the four LEDs. Between the inputs and the outputs, we are only allowed to use blocks out of the X2C library. We will have a closer look into the X2C libraries in one of the next videos. So now we are good to go with the simulation. For simulating the model, we just click on the start icon here. Now we have done our first simulation of a Scilab X2C model. In the next video, I will show you how to generate code for this model and how to program it onto the hardware and verify the signals with the scope of X2C to show signals from the real microcontroller. Thank you very much.